we went to look at all vendors and we ended up choosing the Quillian One Genesis, the Toshiba machine, um, which was um, installed very, very quickly and efficiently. And uh, I, I can honestly say in the last four months, we've only had positive experiences. The first thing we really noticed was the drop in dose, and this was with the new FIRST uh, technology. Our doses have, have, have dropped to the point that we are um, extremely happy, and I think our referrers and patients are very happy. We've, we took 20 consecutive patients that we did cardiac CT imaging, uh, all comers, and we, 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 we looked at, we averaged out the, the mean uh, dose for those patients, and it was significantly lower than, than anything we've ever been able to do before. And we've always been very concerned about dose, but this has now taken it to a new level. we have found first is that we put the, machine, the patient in and out, they can't believe they, they, you know, they, they, that the examination is finished. So it's, a, it's very quick, it's efficient, it's made us more efficient and it's allowed us to book more patients, book more frequently and book in patients that who weren't, you know, who, who just come in.
standards of imaging have changed dramatically over the last 20 or 30 years. The structures that we can see and the definition that we see in structures has changed quite markedly uh, over that time. And I think the I-800 is another um, part of that process of evolution. It's another level of evolution, if you like. example we find with the 2D grayscale imaging um, that we're able to see the detail of structures like the heart. Um, I think in a, uh, just with more clarity than we've previously able, been able to see them and that just makes it much easier um, to I think visualize all the structures that we need to uh, look at during a routine exam. Bony structures are um, uh, more readily resolved and um, when we look in the first trimester uh, at structures like the nasal bone which is used to screen for Down syndrome we find it much easier to see that structure uh, using this system. In terms of ergonomics, um, it's really important to us that we have equipment that we can use very easily, um, that um, staff are able to use without um, it being uh, difficult uh, for them or um, stressful for them. Um, and uh, if we have a process of imaging that uh, improves clarity and shorters an examination by a few minutes, then actually that makes a big difference to us when we're scanning tens of patients. About. One of the things about Toshiba MRI is it's not very well known in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, however, in a global sense, uh, we are very strong. Uh, part of the global sports med program, in fact, uh, sees us uh, having MRI in the three biggest clubs in Europe, um, those being Manchester United, Real Madrid and FC Barcelona. Well, patient comfort is important because one of the major reasons we can't complete an MR examination is the patient can't stand the noise or they can't stand the space environment. And so at Toshiba we've taken this uh, into account and we've developed some real patient comfort technologies.
The Galan 3T marks the introduction of the next generation of 3T systems. Its eco-friendly design requires only 70 kVA power and it's designed to fit within a standard 1.5T room, needing only 18.6 metres squared for the scan room. I'm Monica King, Managing Director of Toshiba Medical Systems ANZ. It is an exciting time ahead and the culture at Toshiba is very much aligned with what we're achieving in our products. We've got made for life philosophy that translates into these amazing products that deliver, really do deliver quality of life and it's an exciting industry to be part of and we look forward to partnering with our customers and the industry in general to, to make it happen and to really make a difference. So it's, it's exciting and full steam ahead for Toshiba as part of the Canon Group. Thank you for your support. We look forward to an exciting future beyond imaging.